Welcome back to another Top Notch video. In this video, we're going to be making the Serpent or Snake slash King Cobra, as you can see right here. So with this project, I would say it takes about 10 to 15 minutes. It's one of our more simpler projects, and it's quite a lot of fun. So diving right into it, here's what you're going to need for this project. You're going to need a ruler, a pencil, a pizza cutter, an X-Acto knife, preferably swivel, cutting board, and always cons some construction paper. This time around we're not going to be doing a pattern like we usually do, we're just going to do it directly on construction paper. So here we go. Now with the serpent, serpent, it's really important that you guys pay attention to the bottom portion of it, more so than the top portion. With the serpent, some of the things to look at when designing it is the overall circumference of the thing, five inches across total, and the inner circle of the serpent is about two and a, two and a half centimeters to two centimeters. The overall head length is about four or five centimeters. As you can see, I have a cutout right here, of what it looked like. So yeah, I have from the tongue to the uh, the neckline is like six and a half centimeters. The width is going to be about two centimeters. And as I said, the circumference is about five and a half to six centimeters. So let's get into drawing this. When drawing your serpent, you want to start with, there's pretty much two main things you need to look at. It's the circle itself and the head. So the way you want to start with this serpent is you want to start at the very bottom with the, the, the tongue here, right here at the top. And so we're going to start with drawing that. What that kind of looks like is just, I would say, it looks like a, a Y almost at the top here. Make sure your pencil is sharp so you get those good crisp draw lines. And then you're going to move into a giant oval almost with the head. I'm drawing away from me. And as you come to a close, you're not going to close that oval out. You're going to leave it open. And that is the first main section. That gets you the head slash neck of your serpent slash king cobra. Then once you do that, you're going to kind of do a dip here. So you have a little, little line here with the head and the neck. And you're going to move into the body. Okay. With the body, you're going to want to start on the outside of the body first. So you're going to start down here. And you move right into the body. Now, with the body, you want to start with wider, pretty much at the very start, because uh, you know, the closer to the head, the wider the serpent. And you're just going to draw a circle all the way around, and that will get you that outside outline. Like I said, mine was about five and a half centimeters to six centimeters. And you're going to bring that right back into the other neckline right here. So make sure you watch this really close. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start to that inner neckline. Where you're going to start that is right here at this section here, this pointy section. And you're just going to take that down. Make sure you watch your neck on the other side. Make sure you got it nice and wide. And you're just going to bring that circle all the way down. As you can see, we got a nice body here. Keep bringing that all the way down and you can do as many coils as you want on this one I'm just gonna do one I'm gonna bring it to the tippy tail right here and then I'm gonna go on to the inside of the snake and I'm gonna bring that all the way out and bring it right back into the tail so that way you have the neckline it can get kind of confusing neckline and one curl and moving into the second curl right into the tail and as you can see it gets smaller and smaller as I go with the serpent. The next thing you're going to want to pay attention to make that a little bit bigger there is your folds okay so one fold line is going to be up here and this will get that nice as you can see on mine here I'll get the top of the head here and that's just going to be a half moon circle right there 
And then the really important one is an X here on the neck. You're going to do a decent X right here on the neck. And then the only other one that you're going to want to pay attention to is the line that goes consistently down the body. Okay? And you're going to follow that right down the middle of the body all the way down. And what this line will do is it will um, have your serpent pop out just a tad bit and give it that three-day effect. And once I finish with this, and you're going to take that line all the way into the tail. Now, the smaller it gets, the harder it will be to fold, but we'll worry about that a little bit later. And that'll complete your pattern with your snake. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is, instead of cutting like we do on some of our other patterns, you're going to want to take your pizza cutter and you're going to apply a decent pressure along these lines, moving the paper to get a good crease line with all of these folds. I'm going to do the neck here. And then finally the body. Now with the body, what I like to do is I like to move all the way down and I like to move the paper with the pizza cutter. And I put a decent pressure on this and as you can see, I consistently move my paper, not my pizza cutter. And that gives me a very good crease line with the snake. Right down the middle member now, it's very important when you get to the end here that you be very, very careful and you want to take that right up into the tail. And that'll get you a good crease line with your snake. The next portion is going to be cutting this out. So when you're cutting this out, start with the smaller ends, such as like the tongue here, and you want to cut toward yourself and just give it a real deep, nice cut. And you're just going to follow those lines. Make sure you don't cut on the dotted lines because those are going to be your folds. And you're just going to follow those all the way down in your neckline and you're going to want to continue to do that once you have it all cut out your snake should look something like this okay now all i did is i went on my pattern here and cut everything out the only thing you have to be careful about is this inner circle and you're just gonna like i said just make sure you cut i would even go through it twice with your exacto knife and try to cut it out once you cut it out, you're going to punch out this middle here, which is this section, okay? So you're going to just punch that out first, and then once you have that punched out, you're going to try to punch out your actual snake, okay? If something doesn't give, just go over it twice with your X-Acto knife. When you punch it out, it's going to look something like this. And once you have this, you're going to want to do your fold lines. So the first fold line you're going to want to do is up here at your neck. You're going to fold this down. And um, to give it that circular effect, you're going to just squeeze it just a tad here. And I even, I don't, it's not a fold line, but I just like to give it a little bit of a, a fold towards you. And then with the neck down here, this is what's going to pop his head up. So it's really important that you fold over here. Fold that completely over just like that on that fold line on the X and on that fold line of the X. And that gives you a solid X on that fold line. As you can see, his head pops up just like that. The last portion is gonna be the body of the snake. Now, this is, time, this is a little bit time consuming, and the best way to do this is to take two thumbs with your fingernails and push down. And as you see, as I push down, that head pops up and follow the body line all the way down that crease line you made with your pizza cutter earlier. And it does get a little bit annoying because it, the body does get in the way. But you're just going to follow that down with your fingernails. 
put some good pressure on it and this is what really gives that snake a 3d look and effect and as you can see the body is getting just a little bit in the way here the smaller it gets the harder it's going to be to, to move this so if your finger if your thumbs don't work I would say try to use your other fingers if you can uh, for me the best thing is my thumbs and I just as you can see I'm just constantly pushing down on that fold line in between the snake the snake body just right in the middle there all the way to the tippy tippy tail now when you finish with it it's gonna look not like a snake it's gonna look like a spring or something else it's gonna look not as good and so what you're gonna want to do is you're just want to push that back up push the inner body all the way through and when you do that it keeps it all itself in line and this should be sort of what you have for a finished product as you can see the heads pointing down you have the king cobra neck and then you have the body which is all nice and coiled up and as you can see it has a nice 3d effect here going on which is really good and then if you have something else you can have them together and it actually looks the snake does look a little bit bigger but overall it's a pretty decent product i think uh, not too bad um, enjoyable fun and if you're just getting started with uh top notch videos this is a really good first project if you guys have any questions or comments go ahead and write them in the comment section below um, I really appreciate you guys uh, watching this video. Go ahead and uh, like, subscribe, or share it. And thanks again. That's another top-notch video. See you guys next time.